I'm back. What's up, everybody? It's Ty the Bourbon Guy, and welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not have noticed that I have actually not made any YouTube content in several months now, actually. And I think the last time maybe I put out anything was June of the summertime. So just to kind of recap, uh, I have gotten some comments where people maybe thought that I was no longer making whiskey content or no longer involved in whiskey, and that's not the case. I figured I should clarify. So really for me, my wife is a teacher and I have two young kids, and so the summertime is the time to kind of spend with my family. And I think for me, when I make content, just being transparent, it has to be fun, but there also has to be a balance and there has to be time that I spend with my family and making sure that they have what they need from me and still involved with whiskey, still doing certain things. But, you know, in terms of making a video every single week or multiple videos every single week, there's a time and place for it. Right. So spending time with my family kind of took the priority over making YouTube videos over the summertime. But now school started back up and we're back into our regular routine and all that stuff. And I do look forward to maybe putting out more videos consistently once again. So I'm definitely back and I've always been involved still in the whiskey world. So just to kind of speak on that a little bit. So as you kind of, for me at least as a creator, as I start making content, as I've been doing different things and different projects within the whiskey world, lately the coolest things I've been involved in have just all happened at like one time. And, and that's what's just been amazing. It has inspired me to continue this journey. It has inspired me to want to achieve greater things. And one of these things that I did was about a week ago, I was part of the Black Bourbon Society's annual event the Bourbon Boulet 2024. This was held in Louisville, Kentucky, or Louisville, <laughs> Kentucky, and it was an amazing time. It was an amazing experience. So thank you to Samara B. Davis for the invite. Thank you to Black Bourbon Society for all the hospitality and just the welcoming. It was an amazing event and I loved every minute of it. And the one thing that I realized about the whole thing is I really didn't talk that much about bourbon. Yes, we talked about bourbon and yes, I got a chance to uh, go to Old Forster and Michter's and deal with some of those brands and meet some of those people. And it was just amazing every step of the way. So yes, bourbon was involved, but the more people that I met that were there, whether it was their first time at that event, it was definitely my first time at the event. Maybe certain people, this was like their second or third time, whatever the case was, but I just got a chance to meet so many new people and make real world connections and real world relationships. And that matters to me the most, you know, just getting to know new people. I realized like, that's actually what this is all about, right? So I can sit up here and talk about which whiskey's good and what's not. And I got this on my palate and all this other stuff. But really at the end of the day, the relationship, that's what matters. I didn't talk anything about whiskey. I talked about my kids. I talked about my wife. I talked about, you know, yes, how long I've been doing this type of thing and what type of things I do with Bourbon 101 or Bourbon 102, whatever the case is. But a lot of it was either talking about my own family or asking other people like, what do you do professionally? And what do you enjoy? You know, what got you into bourbon, that type of thing? Sure. But again, it was more about finding out about people and meeting people and the more that I talked to people, the more that we just kind of came together. It felt like a family reunion or something like that. It didn't really feel like a bourbon event to me. So in that sense, it wasn't work. It didn't feel like work. It was just a lot of fun. And I realized at the end of the day, that's what it is all about. Bourbon is about those relationships. It's about the fun. And sometimes that can be taken from us when we're just out here searching for these bottles and I'm guilty of it too. I want all this stuff. <laughs> but again, at the end of the day, that's what it's about is the relationship. So once again, thank you so much to the Black Bourbon Society for the invite and for allowing me to be part of that event. Absolutely amazing. And I really, really hope that I can be part of it in 2025 as well. So kind of building off of that, of creating real world relationships and getting to know people and having real world experiences. It's kind of one thing to have social media and be on YouTube and again, talk about all this stuff. And I enjoy this, but really where my passion is, is meeting real people and getting real world opportunities. And so lately, what I've actually been trying to do is partner with different restaurants and bars in the Indianapolis area and see if there's ways to make content with them and see if there's other opportunities there, whether it's to work together on certain things, certain projects, or to just partner with them and consult for them maybe and give them better ideas as, as to what a bourbon drinker may actually be looking for. What bottles would they actually enjoy on their bar? Because what I've noticed is a lot of restaurants are trying to put out certain things or put out certain cocktails and 
some of them are missing and some of them aren't really hitting the bourbon market the way that they really want to that that demographic that consumer that wants that so i think that there's definitely room there to kind of partner together and work on things like that so just different pieces of the local experience here in indianapolis i'm just trying to grow that base as much as possible and as much as i can and again build those relationships but also not just local to indianapolis i've worked with different people outside of indianapolis great thing is with technology i don't have to necessarily live there but all of those things have been things that i've been involved in and have been absolutely amazing there's actually a local restaurant here it's actually a putt putt place it's a mini golf place <laughs> that has a restaurant and bar on the inside and it's called birdies if you're ever in westfield indiana go to birdies and tell them ty the bourbon guy sent you because it's an amazing place it's actually a mini golf place that is right up the street. And so my wife and I went there one time just to grab some lunch, hang out, grab a drink. And I looked at this bourbon selection and I was blown away by what they had on that bar. No mini golf place should have Blanton's Gold and E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof sitting at the bar, right? That was kind of, that's kind of wild. So to me, it made me want to dig in a little bit deeper. And so that's where I started building a relationship with them. And just this past week, I actually went out and did a competition with them as I partnered with them to create a new cocktail for the fall, hoping to win that competition to be able to get a cocktail featured on their menu. And again, this is just building those relationships, right? Like having a local place that has a featured cocktail from Ty the Bourbon Guy or inspired by Ty the Bourbon Guy, or whatever the case is, to me is just, it's the coolest thing. And not even because it's like my name on it or anything, it's just purely because of that relationship and building that and it kind of working on that presence here locally. So that also happened this past week. So there's just been a lot going on, like I said, outside of YouTube, but I've still kept up with all the comments. I've still seen them all. There's been plenty of people saying that we still enjoy your content. We've rewatched this video. Hope you come back soon, all that stuff. And that really means a lot to me. I see every comment. Uh, there, ha there are not that many comments, so that's, <laughs> that's why I do see them all. But it's, uh, it definitely means a lot to me. Every time I see that, it just reminds me of the support that I have online, right? So as I look at YouTube, as I look at Instagram and some of the messages that I've received, comments, whatever, it just reminds me that yes, as I'm trying to build this in real life, I also have content and, a, and an audience that I'm reaching through YouTube. And as much as I wanna build it locally, there's plenty of people that I connect with all around the world from this platform. And that's what's amazing about this. And again, that's what whiskey is all about, right? It should be, are these relationships and building these connections from all across the world. That's what it's all about. So I'm excited to be back. This should be just a quick video of me just kind of recapping, but. I'm excited to be back. There's a lot of whiskeys that have either been sent to me or that I have purchased or gifted or whatever the case is. Over the past three or four months, I haven't stopped buying whiskey. <laughs> so I'm still in the game in that sense. Lot to talk about, lot to taste, lot to give reviews on, lot to give my thoughts on. There's a lot of whiskey news. It's Bourbon Heritage Month. The Kentucky Bourbon Festival's coming up. We're heading into the end of the year, which is when all the allocation stuff starts coming out and releases and all types of stuff. So there's a lot of bourbon content coming up soon that I am excited to create. And for those of you that are still rocking with me, still subscribe to the channel and all that stuff, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. And don't worry, more is coming soon. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.